Hello everyone and welcome to my Geek Fix. Taylor's version. With the Super Bowl right around the corner, one of the biggest questions is not just who will win the game, but who will be there. And a lot of that anticipation revolves around Taylor Swift and if she can make it to the game in time following her last performance, which is all the way in Tokyo, Japan. And she can, but it does involve some time travel. Let me explain. Today I'm breaking down what's known as the International Dateline and how that is playing the biggest role in getting Taylor from Tokyo over to Travis Kelsey in Las Vegas, Nevada for the Super Bowl. The night before the Super Bowl, Taylor will be wrapping up her last leg of her Eras Tour. Now Japan is 17 hours ahead of Las Vegas where the Super Bowl will be. She's expected to fly out sometime around midnight Sunday from Japan. Total flight time is around 13 hours, where she will cross the Pacific and fly over the International Dateline. The Dateline is the key here. It's an imaginary line that runs from the North Pole all the way down to the South Pole, and it serves as the boundary between one calendar day and the next. So when Taylor crosses this line, she's now going back in time from Sunday to Saturday. And that puts her landing in Las Vegas around dinner time Saturday a full day earlier than when she originally left Japan. The Super Bowl is not until 6.30 p.m. the following day, giving her a good 24 hours of being back in the States before kickoff.